question of the day. Who is really in control of your business? So, don't lie. As a business owner, I know that you know that I know that you know, we get stuck. There are times when we get stuck in our business. And what happens is eventually we roll through it, we learn through it, and we move on, and we don't get as stuck as often. But there are times when we get stuck, and we're, it's always a work in progress. And what I found is that <clears throat> you might be surprised about who's really in control of your business, right? It's actually not you in the current. So many of us, our decisions that we make in life are because of experiences we've had in the past, because of our stories in the past. And a lot of those stories haven't been uncovered by you. Maybe you know the story, you've just never really thought about them and quieted down enough to understand the impact they had on your life. Maybe you have a fear of money for a certain reason. And I'm saying that because that happened to me. Maybe you have a fear of success. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe you have a fear of commitment. There's always a reason. So what's happening is that you currently, you are not in control of the business. The past you is in control of your business. What? Because the past you is are reliving those fears. You have those fears deep inside, blocked inside your heart that's, that's not allowing you to move forward. Now here's what you do. You visualize in great detail you of the future, who you want to be, where you want your business to be, where you want your life to be. And then from that visualization, you make decisions today, starting right now, based on that person you want to be in the future. So that is who you need to be, who needs to be in control of your business, the future you. Now, I'm not saying live in the future. <clears throat> I'm saying take some time to have a destination understand that destination. Think of it as like you're watching yourself on a movie screen all the way down to what you're drinking and what clothes you're wearing. Visualize it. Take a few minutes in, after you watch this to uh, just visualize that. And then from there, be in your moment and make your decisions based on the person that you are going to become in the future, not the person that you were in the past, not the fears that you have from the past. So is this something a pro, something that can happen immediately? You can change immediately? Yeah, absolutely. By that visualization, you can change it immediately. And then you can start to consistently visualize yourself every day in detail, consistently visualize yourself being that person in the future, and you will become that person. I have faith in you. I know it. You just have to put that same consistency in to your personal growth, your visualization, your stillness that you put into working hard on your social media, on your emails, on growing your list, on everything, on your programs. Put that same consistency in to yourself and being still visualization, journaling, meditation, know who you want to be in the future in detail. And if that changes in the future, then that's okay because we all grow and things change, right? Of course, that's the good thing. Hey, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I would love to hear your comments on this. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.